No, I don't entirely dismiss it. Um, you know, the president doesn't want the dollar to be lower. The president is very concerned that foreign countries have manipulated their currencies lower through various easy money practices that, by the way, don't engender economic growth, as we've learned. That's his issue. Uh, as he said yesterday, I think it was yesterday, um, he's very proud of the dollar as a symbol and emblematic of the fact that the United States is the world's leading country and the only economic game in town. But, but he would prefer, and I want to go back to the G7 idea, if these other countries, if our friends would adopt some of the pro-growth policies that we have adopted, their growth would improve markedly. And so would their currencies. And so we might have a more balanced currency picture in that event. And that's why it's very important that the formal G7 meetings include this section on the economy, trade, and currency. That's, that's the key point. We are still planning for the Chinese team to come over here in September. I don't want to name the date or anything, but we're waiting. So the deputy's call is quite constructive, and um, uh, this may lead to a, a meeting of the principals here in Washington, D.C. But I don't dismiss it. Uh, I have an easy way out. Folks are working, they're spending, uh, and they're saving, which is terrific. And there's no end, to me, there's no end in sight. For those models to work, you've got to see about six months. We have a very good trade deal in North America called USMCA. And it's a deal that would add uh, a half to one percentage point additional GDP per year if we get it through the Congress this fall. And Speaker Pelosi has been very good and very accommodating. She works well with Bob Lighthizer, and I'm, I'm kind of optimistic about that. But we have that. And as you recall, a couple of weeks ago, we announced a beef deal with the uh, EU, and we're going to have more talks. Uh, uh, here and at the G7 on that point. What the president is trying to say is there's no near-term tax cuts for stimulus or fighting recession. We don't have that point of view. We think the economy is in sound shape. We're staying with our program on lower tax rates, deregulation, energy opening, and lowering trade barriers. I, you know, it's funny. Uh, first couple of years of the Trump administration, we run a little less than 3% growth in the face of severe monetary tightening. It's a terrific achievement. And even at that, 2.7% growth is way above what most folks here in town thought is possible and certainly better than the prior administration. Uh, we're not going to tamper with temporary tax cuts of any kind. Uh, the deputies had a very constructive...